Okay, so I was pretty excited for this because if you know me, I'm a dough man. I've been making a lot of dough, and if I can make it easier, that would be lit. So, it would be lit, really? <laughs> What's wrong with me? I don't know, but right here we have the I Feel stand mixer. Now the thing is, on this box, it just says stand mixer everywhere, which is leading me to my conspiracy here because online, this is advertised as a dough maker and you can even make ice cream with it. Although the only way I could think of making that is if you freeze the batter and then mix it in here because I don't think you can freeze the actual bowl. But I've seen other dough mixers that were roughly the same price where they have a few more features that actually make sense for a dough mixer because it actually ferments the dough as it mixes it and lets it rest and rise. This is basically just a stand mixer without having the paddle and everything up top, which I guess makes it easier to add stuff in while it's mixing because that stuff always gets in the way. But is this really worth it? I don't know. We got to find out if I'm right because as far as I can tell, this does not have a fermentation process like some other ones, which would make sense. So if it's just a stand mixer, I can't really justify this. But let's see what actually happens here. All right, so it's very well packed inside. We have a user manual, of course. Yikes. I mean, this thing is pretty big, feels high quality, so that's not an issue whatsoever so far. We have the metal mixing paddle. We have the mixer here. Okay, I'm very... Okay, I'm very relieved here because there was an option of white or blue and I was like, I don't want white, I want black. But blue is the closest online, the blue looks a little lighter, this almost looks black, so I'm happy. We also have the butterfly whisk, which is gonna be used for soft stuff like, I guess, ice cream, as well as eggs and stuff like that. And I mean, this thing, it's, it's big. It's a good size, very nice. How do you unlock this? Twist it, no, you twist it the other way, okay. Very nice, we have the top here that will twist off as well probably a lot easier when it's on there not moving but it comes off no holes on top so I mean this could work to at least room temperature ferment the dough because I don't feel like this actually heats up anything although it might we'll find out for sure but as far as I can tell it doesn't but it's not gonna let any air in so that's good an airtight seal down on the bottom we do have those suction cup feet to keep it in place as it's mixing vigorously and it does work of course it's stuck there up here we have the motor that's gonna actually spin the paddle around and mix everything knead your dough and all that good stuff and i mean it's a very simple design it looks nice it, i mean it really kind of looks black to be honest with a hint of blue it's like a really really dark navy blue but feels good i mean this could be my new stand mixer although there's less accessories so i mean maybe not but for dough Perhaps, we're gonna find out. Nice control panel here. As you can see, we have two different options. The butterfly paddle, the regular mixing paddle, the LED display that I guess basically just has time and then you can adjust the time here as well as turn it on and off. So see, it's simple and there's no fermentation option, but it is airtight. Hopefully, it looks like it is. So I, I mean, I guess it could still get the job done, but it's not as good as some other ones that actually heat up a little bit, so we'll see actually get this plugged in real quick and see how, how it works so we got it plugged in the display lit up we can adjust the time how high can we go all the way up to 10 only 10 minutes hmm. I mean make dough in 10 minutes I guess so that's cool let's just leave it at 10 we have the different options here okay it just turned right on and started counting down okay Okay, so I'm noticing the butterfly paddle is definitely giving a lot more power, probably going a lot faster, so we'll figure that out for sure. But yeah, there's no other option. So let's just throw this back on top. Get it locked in somehow. How's this going? There we go. I mean, it's very secure. I guess we can just leave this off for now. We're gonna put in the butterfly paddle first. It locks in. And now, let's turn it on. I mean, this thing's definitely pretty loud, although it looks like it's doing a good job spinning around. Although, just like pretty much every other stand mixer in the world, it doesn't really scrape the edges all that well, so you're gonna have to, you know, push that in with a spatula. But let's try out this one. Oh yeah, definitely a lot slower. It's just gonna knead the dough a bit, and it is a lot quieter than using the butterfly paddle. 
and it's you know it's not too loud it's pretty good so i mean really that's that's literally it there's no other settings here it just spins around and mixes it up and needs it up so i mean let's give it a shot so i think i'm gonna try this out with making some dinner rolls because i love some dinner rolls who doesn't love some dinner rolls i'm gonna make some dinner rolls it's not bad i mean this has a six quart capacity so it has a lot of space in here to maneuver the dough around you can put large quantities in here all right so now i got all my ingredients thrown in this mixer not necessarily in any specific order so we'll see how that goes and now let me put the top on so it doesn't splash keeps it nice and fresh inside should be airtight looks airtight set this up to 10 minutes and let's go <laughs> done so 10 short minutes later let's take a look at what we got we go twist it this way. okay so we got some dough here this is some really hydrated dough this is close to like 80 percent so it is very wet looks very sticky inside and wow yeah it's very sticky but it does look like it's all conglomerated in here now the good news is about this being a potentially airtight seal as far as I can tell and it did look like that because we saw the humidity inside building from the heated up ingredients. We do have the dough here looking very nice but with that airtight seal I theoretically could leave the dough in here for like 30 minutes to rise right here and not having to worry about moving it to an airtight bowl because it's already in one. So right now I'm just going to take the dough out put it down on a clean surface roll this thing on up get it nice and smooth cover it up in an airtight seal and allow it to double in size. They're looking amazing Ooh, so soft and fluffy looking so good let me get some honey butter on this thing Ooh, they turned out fire. And just like that, we are back. The dough is gone and cleaning this thing was about as easy as cleaning any other stand mixer as in it was a nightmare because the dough was stuck to the edges. You had to really scrub that stuff off, although it only took about three minutes or so. So it's not that bad. It's the same. Now, as far as getting one of these, is it worth it? I mean, if you're just making dough, you're not making really anything else. I can definitely see you getting a lot of use out of this just like I will because it has a very big size. You saw how much dough that was. It was in here. It wasn't even close to overflowing. It was great. The mixer did a good job kneading it out so it's ready to go and it only took about 10 minutes. So that's actually very quick. Although to be fair, remember, you can actually get the same job done with a regular stand mixer. That's also a bit more versatile. Although remember, if you're only doing dough, this does have a bit of a smaller footprint. It's easier to use. Plus on the top, you can easily dump stuff in because there's nothing above it if you need to add ingredients as it's mixing. And then the other major thing, remember the top is basically an airtight seal. You don't get that on other stand mixers because there's usually a hole in there so you can add ingredients. So this way your dough won't dry out while it's mixing or if you leave it in here to rise, pretty cool. So all in all, a dough mixer is a great investment if you make a lot of dough. But personally, remember, I think I would go for the other option if you wanna spend a couple extra bucks and you feel like you need to, get the one that actually has the fermentation setting so that that way you can leave it in here to ferment instead of having to take it out and do all that other stuff. But really, I guess you don't actually need that because you could just let it sit at room temperature anyway, so it's not too much of a difference unless you specifically need it to be warmed up a bit to ferment. But I'm satisfied with it. It worked well. 10 minutes, got some dough, got some amazingly soft, beautiful, amazing rolls. Ooh, they're so good. 